Hey there guys, Scott here from Bannertines and this month we're inviting you to take part in our new gym challenge, the 500m max effort row. How fast can you row 500m on the indoor rower? The average time for a 500m indoor row is roughly around the 2 minute mark, so you're going to want to stick to the end of the video to see some top tips as to how to beat that time. Now because rowing is a full body movement, we're going to prioritise warming up and stretching, especially in the areas of the lower back, the glutes, the quads and the hamstrings as these muscle groups are the primary movers that generate force during the row. So once you're warmed up and ready to start the challenge, we're first going to look at our foot position on the rower. So the idea is you're going to move the foot plates until the straps are directly above the balls of your feet. The reason why we have the straps above the balls of the feet is to allow for a little bit of heel lifting at the bottom of your rowing stroke. You're going to achieve a lot more depth at the start of your row by lifting your heels, which results in more power being generated from your legs. So you're going to start the drive by pushing with your legs first before extending the back and finishing with rowing the arms. So the largest muscle groups in our body being the glutes, the quads and the hamstrings are in the legs. And these big muscle groups are going to provide the force which will generate the momentum for your lower back and your arms to follow. Once you find yourself in your finishing position, you're going to follow that sequence but in reverse order. So your arms are going to push down first followed by the back leaning forwards and then once your hands clear your knees that's when you're going to retract your legs into the original starting position. So in terms of setting your resistance you're going to choose something which is moderate, anything too heavy and you're going to run the risk of burning out too quick and anything too light you're not going to have enough resistance to generate any form of power. So choose something in the middle and you can combine speed and strength. Once you start the challenge, on the screen you're going to see a few different things. So on the left hand side you're going to see the total time covered as well as the total distance covered. And on the right you're going to see your 500 meter split. So you want to keep an eye on this number as the idea is the lower it is, the faster you're going. So guys, give this new gym challenge a try. Make sure to post your times in the comments below and good luck.